That really impressed me. I, I call it heaven in the mouth. It was fresh, it was delightful. That was absolutely designed. So cool and so fun, I didn't want to leave. You're gonna love this place. Fundraising consultant Richard Miller offers some advice for fresh, well-prepared seafood right by the ocean. He warns it may be pricier than your typical beachside dive, but the fresh seafood and attentive service make it worth every cent. It's in Hollywood Beach and it's called Sugar Reef Grill. Sugar Reef Tropical Grill, I think that captures it all in the name. Every seat has a beautiful view of the ocean. The cuisine, I would say the approach is simple, fresh fish, fresh produce, everything is cooked to order. We've got a few dishes that people who have been coming back for years, you know, we've got the uh, Jamaican style pork tenderloin, which is one. We've been doing this for 20 years. We've got the calamaris that are sauteed with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and uh, you know, with uh, all fresh fish. I've never been for all this fish that is crusted with all kind of nuts, you know. I mean, just fresh fish, just, you know, that's the main focus. We've tried to get as fresh as possible. And then if we've been traveling, that always influences our, our menu too. It took a while for uh, us to establish our customer base and for people to know that we're here. And I would say we are definitely a destination now. But we have a lot of friends. Yeah, we made a lot of friends over the years at the restaurant, and uh, it's always the gathering place for family, friends, and we love food. It's yes. right on the ocean. Yes. It's right on the Broadwalk. Yes. When somebody comes to town or we want to take somebody out, we'll say, let's go to the beach, and we'll take them to Sugar Reef. And they go, wow. What they do, they do exceptionally well, and, they're, and they, do it all the, they do it all the time. Our favorite has always been the whole snapper, grilled snapper, it's, uh, it's butter. You, you take the fork in it, it just, it just dissolves in your mouth. It's a little expensive and, you know, well, seafood's you're, really expensive, yes. especially uh, nowadays. It's getting higher and higher yeah. every day. Yes. Right. They have a duck, don't they, that's yes. very popular? Oh, yes. The, most of the people that go there first time get recommended to eat the duck and they love it. I enjoy it a lot because right after church, we decided to go for brunch because uh, usually it's dinner, they discuss on, 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 on your show, and I said, let me do something different, let me go for a bunch. And then when I get there, I got a uh, spinach omelet that is, I mean, that was excellent, and I took it with some avocado on the side, and then I had some uh, uh, fresh strawberries. I was so amazed. Um, and uh, the first thing I have to say is the view. My table was right in front of the beach. I'm back home. It was extremely busy around the time that we went to. But uh, 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 the, 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 the ocean, I mean, just let the time lapse. We got the food, it was excellent. I've been a Broward County resident for 38 years and don't typically go to eat on the beach mm -hmm. because I just figured it's beach fair, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't. We went on a Friday evening, it was a rainy, nasty evening. Um, so it wasn't crowded at all, and we, we sat sort of outside on the little patio, and I was very pleasantly surprised. I had a potato leek soup that was really good, but I expected it to be a cream-based soup, and it really wasn't. It was more of a broth-type soup, but it was very, very tasty. Did you puree the potatoes into it? Yeah, it was, all, the it was all pureed. <laughs> and um, I had uh, a bowl of gumbo, seafood gumbo. Oh. Uh, now, I traveled a great deal to New Orleans in my career, and so I'm very picky about my gumbo. The gumbo was delicious. Mm. Couldn't use a few more shrimp and a few more mussels, but it was, but it was very tasty, and for a restaurant on the beach, for, especially for out-of-town guests, you know, bring them to the beach and great place to people watch, for but sure. I, I think the place is too small for them, the number of tables that they have, uh -huh. and sometimes the server you have to like, I don't have any problem with that because back home we do it anyway. Right. <laughs> I have a lot of friends who, who, who tell me about it before I went there. Now, I drove around a little bit because I'm not too familiar with yeah. the area to find the parking. If you haven't been to the Broadwalk mm -hmm. to walk around and see things. You, people love to do that anyway, so sure. that's that's okay. But it's difficult. The parking is be, is, uh, is is a little sparse. We walk. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, it wasn't a problem. But Maybe we that did would entice you to eat a little more and yes, have dessert. Yes, yes. That way, when you walk yes. back, you won't feel as guilty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What'd you have for, de what'd you have for dessert? <laughs> you uh, got the point. <laughs> I, I, had, uh, I had the key lime pie. Did you? And I typically right. judge a beach restaurant yeah. by its key lime pie. It, it was good, but not top on my list. It wasn't taut enough for me. They do a pastry that's like a, um, a crepe. 
uh, and ice cream and something else inside. I don't know, it was decadent and I loved it. <laughs> Now, one thing we need to mention is they do close sometimes, yes, right? Yes, they do. Like and I think, I think it's September. So I think yes. what people need to do is maybe go online. What did you think of service? The well, service was excellent. And they were very attentive. They came to us right away, gave us water, bread, and brought us our wine almost How immediately. How did you like his wine list? I was disappointed in what he had by yeah. the glass. Yeah. I ended up ordering a half bottle of a Cote de Rhone, which was, which was very good. Well, Richard, Sugar Reef is your choice. Give me a summary. It's a great view, uh, and the service is good, the food is good, you can order almost anything off the menu and you'll love it, and uh, that's where we take our friends. Rose Philippe? I, I love uh, the restaurant because it's way by the beach, remind me from home. I mean, back home, and then uh, I enjoy all the food. It was a great beachfront restaurant, a uh, surprisingly different kind of fare than I would have expected uh, in a restaurant on the beach. Uh, we'd definitely go back there, a great place to take people uh, from out of town and uh, great people watching place. You just sit and have a drink and uh, a little appetizer and just enjoy the view. Well, you can sweeten up your evening at Sugar Reef Grill, located at 600 North Surf Road in Hollywood, open nightly for dinner and for lunch, Tuesday through Sunday during season. Check the website for their summertime hours. Reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $40.